Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Happy New Year. We wanted to kick this year off strong. We know winter time is tough for a lot of guys. It's not as easy as it is other times of year. It can get you down. That's not how you want to start off the year. And it's been a while since we've taken you guys underwater to watch how these bass actually feed. So today that's where we're headed. We're gonna head underwater and watch these bass do their thing hunting jerk baits and swim baits. Awesome is that to watch. 
Whether this is the first underwater video you've ever seen from us or you've seen all of them, it never ceases to amaze me just how powerful, how fast, how aggressive these bass can be. One second they're just sitting there calm as can be, the next second they just let loose on that bait. It's really neat to see the difference too between you know, a swim bait and a glide bait, or I'm sorry, a jerk bait and a glide bait. In the water, the concept is fairly similar. You've got an aggressive snap of the rod is typically what's going to trigger those bites. But the way that they eat those two baits is so different. I'm always amazed how gently a bass can eat a glide bait. Some of them are vicious, but sometimes they just come up and just barely eat that bait. It's really amazing to me. And I think that's important for you to understand because as you're out there trying to get bit on a swim bait, understand that you're not waiting for that freight train bite like you think you are. Even from a giant fish, that bite can be subtle. They can come in and just pop that bait and you've gotta be ready for that little tick like a jig bite or a worm bite. Swing on it just like it was just a hard freight train bite because as you can see, when they come up and mouth it, even though it's a subtle bite, they've still got it and you might be getting a little tick bite from the fish of a lifetime this year. The jerk bait, on the other hand, man, they hit that thing hard, don't they? It's incredible how much force they use to eat that thing. There was something so special about that snap, 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 pause. Snap, snap, pause. That where the fish can just come up and look at it and then when it darts again, man, they are on it. If you don't slow that footage down and watch it in slow motion, you almost can't even see them hit the bait they hit it so hard. If you're not a jerkbait fisherman, that footage right there should convince you that it's time to give it a try. Now here we are, very beginning of the year, early January. It's tough most places in the country, but remember that a winter jerkbait bite can be amazing. So don't be afraid to get out there and do it. The only difference when the water gets really, really cold compared to the spring or the fall jerkbait bite is that you wanna slow down the cadence pop, pop, and then let that bait sit five, seven, ten seconds before you twitch again. And you want to mix your cadence up, either one, two, or three twitches, but just let it sit and sit and sit. I can't stress that enough. The longer that bait sits there suspended, the more likely that a cold water bass is to come up and get near it and look at it, and then to strike when you make your next motion. Hope that helps you guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We will link all the baits that were in the video as well as hook upgrades because you can see how key sharp hooks are for these retrieves and for these baits. We'll link all that down in the video description. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.